Bad news, folks. Disaster has struck Pakistan. I reformulated my entire update last night around the coronal hole power. And I set an earthquake watch that was trending upward. We've lacked any outward magnetic power for a while, and it was now earth-facing as the primary umbral fields were open as well. Most five-pointers were in Indonesia, so a few hours ago in the morning news I said they were most likely for a big quake, but I was wrong. I ignored the one unusually located five-pointer, and the same quake-prone zone just ripped a 7.8 magnitude earthquake west of the Continental Transform Fault in Pakistan. We are awaiting updates on damage and death. Coronal holes and earthquakes. If you are confused, you're new here. There's a ton of good information online about coronal holes, including in these videos of mine. Where the magnetic fields open, and the force is allowed freely into space rather than bound back down arching into the sun, a coronal hole opens. For proof of power, you need only see how a coronal hole stream can do a CME impression and cause geomagnetic storms. They also fire alpha waves from their centers, and according to NASA, do a better job transferring energy to the planets. The potential mechanisms for quake causation are many. It's a strong magnetic force pointed from a sphere magnet in space at another sphere magnet orbiting it. Whether the abrupt trigger is a change in orbital velocity, distance, tilt, or angular momentum, or whether the triggers are underground or otherwise, we just don't know. We're in the infancy of this forecasting. There are so many holes, and we've seen a few brief periods where there appear to be other unknown factors skewing the data. But the statistical significance of this method is held true for long enough for there to be 125,000 people here. And that was all before the Corona hole power factor was added last week. Stick around, we're all learning this together. Be safe everyone, and pray for Pakistan.